help me appreciate the worship team. <laughs> amazing, amazing worship team. Since Sebastian began to train them, they are doing very well. Please celebrate Sebastian with me for the wonderful <laughs> input into this beautiful team. Amen. I know you didn't know their teacher. So for bookings and events, inquiries, I've told you who to consult. Please help me appreciate this beautiful woman of God. Amen. She is everything a stupid man needs to be wise. Thank you for putting wisdom in this stupid man. <laughs> Amen. I know you didn't get what I said. I said, Mama is everything that a stupid man needs to be wise. You didn't get what I said. Every man is stupid. So if not for the wife, sometimes you think a man is really wise, <laughs> but it's just the wife that is wise. Amen. Glory to God. So everything a stupid man needs to survive is a wife, not a woman. A woman will make you more stupid than you were before. Hallelujah. So um, I said a few things about why God will have a problem with you fighting where you're coming from. And amazingly, some of you will still fight where you come from, even after this. Now, the reason why people get destroyed when they declare war on where they are coming from is the God mystery in terms of where you came from. The God mystery. The God mystery. The reason you should never fight anyone that has ever helped you is the God mystery. The reason you should never fight anywhere you once worked is the God mystery. The reason you should never work hard to close the company that taught you what you know today is the God mystery. If you catch the God mystery, you will restrain yourself. If you can see God in the events of life, you will restrain. There's something called restrain. Restrain is to withhold yourself. To restrain yourself means this is how I feel. But based on what I know, I will allow what I know take over what I feel. Because feelings are nothing but what I call temporary madness. And the scripture literally says that every time you get angry, you become stupid. Anger will never allow any man reason well. Never take decisions in anger. Never say things in anger. Never react in anger. Never make conclusions in anger. Put it there. Anger dwells in the bosom of a fool. Put it there. So every time you get angry, you are about to do something stupid. There are girls who are praying for marriage partners today who dropped a man they should never have dropped because they were angry. You got angry and you insulted somebody's grandmother. A man trusted you and shared with you about the grandmother and he didn't like the way the grandmother died. Then in that moment of anger, you said, no wonder you are behaving like your grandmother and good men don't answer. He just said, hey. okay, honey, I'm sorry. He says, okay, we'll talk tomorrow. Tomorrow has become tomorrow. And you ladies know when you lose a good man. 
It's not just I can find someone else. The trouble is finding this woman. <laughs> Women have anything you think of, and you can go and enter there. But finding this woman. One of my sons insulted the, the wife and said, are you the only one that has that thing? I can go and get it out. I told him, boy, don't be stupid. Rivers are there, but rivers are not the same. They are men. I'm beautiful. I can go anywhere. But there are people you lose, even though you are trying to console yourself. There are people you lose, you will always remember them. <laughs> There are people you lose even if you buy a BMW. You will not be happy. You will always remember them. Memories. You will always remember. And if the moment you move on, you will never say it. The reason you are trying to prove you are happy is because you are unhappy. <laughs> Guys, celebrate my new man. What happened to the old man? The reason you want us to celebrate your new man, you are not happy. You are trying to tell us you lose something that recovering is hard. My daughters, listen to me. You can find any other. They have all those things. But finding this one, this one. it's not easy. Finding you is not easy. Telling you. Amen. <laughs> Did you get what I said? Women are there. But this woman, I only find her once in a lifetime. This one. There are people that come into your life and even as you are, consol even as you are consoling yourself, you got someone new. You are not happy. <laughs> Ima thought you are. <laughs> you are driving a Mercedes, but you are not happy. You lost what you should have not lost. And I came to tell you, there is, oh, oh Lord, oh Lord. There are some of you here I should not lose. May I not lose you? And there are some of you here with all humility, if you lose this man, there's only one, this man. There are preachers with all humility, but this man is only one. You may go around the world, but this man is only one. So I have come to discover that wisdom is, you may meet people, but memories will kill you. Because memories are made of sufferings, rare moments. Having one maternity dress, following a man to go and live with another man because he can't pay rent. And you are there to see all his shame. And you are there to see God bless the same man in a way that when you look at the... You know, it's not easy to create memories. You may get another boyfriend, but when you remember the way the first one treated you. Uno has a splash, my pijaka masita. Move on! But you know you have not moved on. Look at this. So never take decisions. When I'm angry, mama will tell you, when I'm angry, I can keep quiet for three days. Because in moments of anger, you can say what you should have never said. And once words leave, you'll never recover them. There's something you tell a man, he'll forgive you, but he'll never forget. There's something you tell your wife, she may forgive you, but it will pain her the rest of her life. She'll never trust you again. And there are two people who live in the same house. Many of them are just co coexisting. They don't trust each other. The worst pain of your life is to live with your enemy. Because bed brought you together. Sex is not love. There are many people who sleep with mad women. They don't love them. To find a friend. So when you get angry, look at this. Do not hasten in your spirit to be angry. In other words, put speed governors. Unataka kukasirika lakini umeweka speed governor. Una ikiwezekana cheza na uzunguke. Say hai nimekataa kukasirika. Put speed governors. Pastors have said things in moments of anger they'll never repair. There are days when I used to get angry and start killing cockroaches all over the house. Cockroaches would die. Then I would clean all the windows. I can clean the compound. 
Go bring water for all neighbors. I'm killing anger. Find something to use to kill anger. Never try to get back to people in anger. You may do what you will never forget. Look at this. Do not hasten in your spirit to be angry. For anger rests in the bosom of stupid people. Every time you get angry, you are about to be stupid. You are about to land in something stupid. You walked out of your house in anger. I don't like this. For how long? Then one woman just threw her bomb bomb before you. Pua, pua, pua. Say, ah! Then you collected lifetime tragedy because you got angry in your house. A man got angry in his house with his wife because the boss escorted the wife in a car and dropped the wife by the gate. I said, my daughter, see you tomorrow because the boss was going that direction. The man said, no. What is this that is going on between you and this man? <laughs> he will tell you, got angry, left the house that night, impregnated another woman. Now the wife is pregnant, that woman is pregnant. He has been paying two rents secretly for a long time. Now he's overwhelmed. <laughs> you got, listen, men get angry because the baby is crying the whole night. Goes and impregnates another woman. So two babies are now crying. Be careful. In anger. As a pastor on a scale, find comedy. Cool it down. Good news translation. Don't be quick to be angry. That me and I lose my temper. Nobody needs your temper. Keep it. Don't lose it. You need it to build your destiny. I never go to the next level till I get angry. Look at this. Keep your temper. Don't lose it. Keep it. Tell your neighbor, hide your temper. Keep it. That me. He kwaya munjwangi. She kumoja and takasika kwa ikwaya speakers talipuka. Listen. Ata unyambe nam nagani wizi bomwacho. Cho in a back. Hamunjangi kwa yas at you kikasiriko na zifanya kiwete. One day you'll do that and your leg will never come down. <laughs> to my wife, you don't know when I get angry. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, keep your temper. Keep it. Keep your temper. Keep it. Keep it. Your wife doesn't need your temper. Keep it. Your boss does not need your temper. Ch Pastor, the church does not need your temper. They need your revelation. Keep it. Keep it. Greatness is knowing how to control how you feel. Greatness is control. Because greatness is more dangerous than failure. When God trusts you with money and success, you become too dangerous than a man that has failed. You can cause havoc. When God gives you anointing, you don't talk anyhow. This thing is not for people who get angry. In a moment of anger, Moses did what he could not repair with all the grace that was on his life. The rest of his, he did what he couldn't repair. Moses. A man that was predestined by God. Born according to the plan of God. A man that was preserved by wild animals. A man that was kept by the enemy that was looking for him. A man that was foreordained by God. So the land and never entered anger. Be careful. Don't let, don't let people provoke you. Maturity is knowing how to handle provocation. Don't let your wife provoke you. Don't let your children provoke you. A brother is in jail today. The wife provoked him in our village. Hit the back of the wife. Boom. The wife died. Seven years he's in jail. Anger. A border, border man came behind my Toyota pass so that I drive. As I was driving my Toyota pastor, driving my Toyota pastor, but a border man came. Bah! The Holy Ghost told me control. Tuliza manze, tuliza, tuliza. Maintain, maintain. I came out. He was bleeding. People had gathered. Hey, hey. Umegonga pastor ya mwenyewe. Hey. I went, I was feeling terrible. 
Because when I saw him, I, can, I tell this delivery guy. He may never be able to afford to buy whatever he has spoiled. I maintained. I asked him, are you okay? I left the car besides the road. Up here, people had gathered. I came, said, Pastor, Hakulipe. I took him to the hospital there. They checked. I said, are you okay? I said, it is well. I said, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I left. What is the car? The devil wants you to say something in Shikwe called WhatsApp. He end the social media. Sasa ndiyo waliokuwa na kungojea watakuchimba. Baba, there is a moment of anger that will cost you your ministry. If you maintained and behaved like a fool, you could have saved your ministry. I came out of there. Everyone was saying, Pastor, Pastor Meokoka, Pastor, Asante, Pastor Takuja Church. Suppose I came out and began to explain to other person. I'm praying God will take me to another level. I've been faithful with the Toyota Pass. It's a wonderful car. God will take me to another level. I came out. As I drove away, I've never had this for long. I had the Holy Spirit tell me, you have won. Keep your temper under control. It is foolish to have a grudge. Because a grudge will destroy you more than the people you are holding it against. A grudge will move you into buying a car you cannot afford. You want to prove a point. A grudge will move you into dating a lunatic. You want to prove you are also dating. A grudge will move you to do stupid things. You want people to know you are fine. The moment you want people to know you are fine, you are not fine. Who cares a couple selfish in a day? You that we knew you are very calm. You are suffering. It is dangerous to let people who want you unhappy know that you are not happy. Because they gather and provoke you more. Pastor, who see you the message you could be to Sunday. Because many a times, if you conceive a message against one member, that Sunday he'll not be in church. It is you that will suffer. I've been pastoring. Next year we are we are celebrating 12 years eh, of pastoring and 23 years of preaching. So in 23 years, there are things I have learned. Ukiwa na shida na mshirika, just confront him. Kujapa. I've seen you do this and this. But you're so preaching and saying, nyuele me kwa hivi, kutembea ni hivi, sauti ni hivi. The person is not getting what you're saying. <laughs> Save yourself, brother pastor. Oh, pastor's meeting is coming. I've made some stupid mistakes that made me wise. You are as wise as your former stupidity. I've made mistakes I'm not intending to make again. Kuna wakati ni menyamba ni kidanta bomo acho. Ni kagundua menyambo hai bomo acho. Kati kuod. Do that, do that. Nothing will happen. I have learned that when you have an issue with your wife, kufura. Niwe unaumia, unakosa chakula, unalala vibaya, hauna amani, unasumbuka usiku mzima. Ah, baba, I've learned how to bury the hatchet and enjoy my life. Don't kill yourself. Life is short. Life is brief. Give me, now that we are, one more week to go, give me brown ugali. I love to enjoy my life. I'm still young. Niache ni pige look. Ni fraye maisha ya. Mungu akupati ya kabinti kama huya lafu na fura usiku mzima. Ya ningu. Chilonua kitanda in electric fence. Ukikasiriko na yake electric fence katikati. Ah! Apana! I prayed, I prayed, I prayed for God to bring you. Now God has brought you. I have someone to preach to. Then I come here in anger. For what? It's a blessing to have you in the house. There's a man singing the whole morning now. Only two people have arrived. Satano inafika. Anaangalia kuna mtu wamekuja. Ah! Mungu wame niletea watu. Waende nyumbani wamekasirika. Ya nini? Wacha wacheke. Have come a long way. Look at this. Tell your neighbor, keep your temper. And you will maintain your temper. Bad temper and wrong temper go together. And badai, utakani kana kwamba mekunyo tempo. My 
Manze kuna vitu zingine maintain tu. <laughs> Tuliza manze. Maboy wote wako hapa. Nisikize vizuri. <laughs> vitu zingine tuliza. <laughs> Mama, tuliza. <laughs> Nikikukasirisha, tuliza. <laughs> Maintain. <laughs> Keep your temper under control. It is stupid to have a grudge. You know how to punish people that are holding grudges against you is to be happy. Genuinely happy and to love them. Because they send spies to find out how you are how you are going, how you are doing. Your former boyfriend has spies all around you. You blocked him on Facebook. People are sending him screenshots. Anatia chumvi, unatumia wewe unatumianga tu watu wakukuprovoke. So a man has taken away your peace. Look at your hair that used to look nice. Now it's looking like a field where children play tok tok because of anger. You can't be sweet in anger. Tell your neighbor I want to be sweet. <laughs> Tell your neighbor I'm still young. Niache ni pige luku niwe sweet. Hallelujah. Okay, message translation. So, so now, 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 the God factor is very important. It will keep you under control. I used to try to prove a point until I learned it is stupid. You are as wise as your former stupidity. You can't be wise if you've not been stupid. If you've never made stupid mistakes, you can't pastor pastors. Your mistakes are your messages. Nilikuanga na tabia ya kufuata watu matajiri. Nikiona tajiri nimeona pesa. Nilifundishu wa baba. Nika wawopa. <laughs> na nilipu wawopa. Mbingu ikasema bas. Look at this. Don't be quick to fly off the handle. You will kill it. Anger boomerangs. <laughs> you know anger? Anger boomerangs. You can spot a fool by the lamps on his head. When you get angry, very soon kutakuwa na alama kwa kichwa yako. <laughs> kutakuwa na alama kwa huduma yako. Ishara ya hasira. Don't be quick to fly off the handle. Good news trans. Oh, we've looked at good news, eh? Tuache hapo sasa. So, the reason I want you to be very careful with anyone that wants to help you no matter how angry they make you become is the God factor. Are we together? We're looking at Pharaoh and Joseph this morning. Uh, very quickly, glory to God. Raise your hands and say, I will not fly off the handle. I will maintain. <laughs> when you see the God factor in all these things, it will withhold you. Mungu akikurusu uone mungu behind everything. You will restrain yourself. There is a reason why God allows people to be destroyed who try to destroy where they are coming from because of the God factor. Now, in Genesis 39 verse 1, if you can put it there very quickly, Genesis 39 verse 1, there is something you need to understand about this man called Potiphar. Now, Joseph had been taken down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there. The first time Potiphar is mentioned, I want you to see God. Why must we be told he's an officer of Pharaoh? Because the man buying you has a connection to where you are going. The destiny of Joseph is connected to Pharaoh. So God could not allow just any man by him. So God is using Potiphar. Of all slaves, something, it was a slave market. Of all slaves, Potiphar looked at them and said, this one, this one, of all slaves, something, we call it something, it's not something, something just guided him. To Joseph. Why? Because Potiphar was connected to Pharaoh. Potiphar was a ladder for his destiny. So Potiphar is also doing what he can't understand. To come
come back later and attack Potiphar. You are destroying the ladder you used to climb. You will fall so hard. The man doesn't know God, but God is using him. Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, his destiny is in the throne. It is Pharaoh that is going to give him power. And God ensures that the man that buys him, he can't be bought just by any man. God knew there are many churches you pass to get here. It's not because you are smart. God knows where you are going. And God has an agenda with this place. It wasn't just any man that bought him. Potiphar, an officer, not just any man in the government of Pharaoh, an officer of Pharaoh bought him. From day one, God wants us to see that in the whole of this slave market, the plan of God was still rolling. Sometimes you find a man that is going to sit on the throne right in the slave market. So be careful how you handle slave markets. Because the leader of the nation is part of the sale. The agenda of God. So Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh. Somebody say the God factor. Raise your hands and say, any man I ever lived with, God was in it. Any man that ever guided me, God was in it. Any man that ever blessed my life, God was in it. Any man that ever became a platform, God was in it. And God forbid that I can turn back and say, now I am done. It's like telling your mother, now you have given birth to me. Die. The God factor is the reason I honor my roots. Potiphar buying you from the slave market is orchestrated by God. Not everyone could just buy you like that. He was connected to Pharaoh. And Pharaoh is your ultimate door. But without Potiphar, you can't get Pharaoh. I always say this. You moved on from your former place of work. Oh, is it? You moved on. And you don't care what is happening there. But everything you are eating today is still being supplied by your first boss. It is when he employed you that the company that began to contact you found you in his reception. If you lose respect for that man, your days are numbered. The God factor. Listen. Listen to me very well. So God is using Potiphar. And let me tell, stop and tell you this. All those people, God used them. Yes, you moved on from your former boyfriend. The job you are doing now, it is him who introduced you. Respect the guy. Men are ladders. Don't get angry when men who are ladders probably drop you. Then you forget the fact that they were ladders. The God factor. Raise your hand and say the God factor. I didn't hear you. Say it again. The God factor. The God fa factor. Respect people that you suffered at their hands and in their houses. They remain servants of God. They remain your lifetime links. Without what you went through in their houses, you will not be who you are now. They still made you. People hurt you, they still made you. People mistreated you, they still made you. They gave you the platform. They gave you the opportunity. You rose in their hands. Anyone that is seeing you now saw you because of your connection with them. Respect that. Every once in a while, visit places where you came from. To collect speed for where you are going. A man that waters his roots will never wither. Woe be unto a man that is busy cutting his roots every day. It's a matter of time. Trees don't wither in a day. This thing that has made you, you have, you have, you have targeted roots. The roots of your life are the ones you are chewing. Your leaves will soon begin to wither. They are men I will never fight. They are men no matter how I feel. No matter how they hurt me. 
One time there's a, there was a problem between me and the man who led me to Christ. And he was all over the place saying things he should not say. But God gave me wisdom. Leave that man. He dipped you in water. He baptized you. He preached to you. He's the first prophet that prophesied over your life. What he saw back then, he can pray against it. Respect him. Mama, you remember? Yes. To date, every day of my life, what I give the man who led me to Christ, allow me not to talk about it, every day, I have made my roots strong. You can jump on my back. I'm still here. I go to next levels because of attacks. I don't move. My roots are strong. My first pastor st is still proud of the fact that I was a member in his church. You cannot wither me. The roots have gone down. Listen. Listen very well. Potiphar is not just an ordinary being. When Joseph became governor, he didn't look for Potiphar to punish him. Joseph, let me ask a question. If you become the second, the prime minister of the land, what will you do to Potiphar? Who put you in jail for two years? But Joseph had the understanding of the God factor. Jesus opened my eyes. Help me to see you when anger is boiling in my spirit. Look at this. Respect people you suffered in their hands, in their houses. They remain servants of God. They remain your lifetime links. Without what you went through in their houses, you will not be where you are now. There's an old man that shouldered the meeting Brought a crusade to the village where I got born again. Through this old man, he took me to a meeting of pastors in a place called Ngomongo. I was a small boy. And this old man was very aggressive with me. He said, you guys need to listen to this boy. Pastors. Hey! Wachungaji walikasirika. Wakasema endi akai chini ya ubiriwa na ubiriwa watu nini. But because the mzee had authority over them, akafanya nika ubiri. It is from that point meeting of pastors one man of god had interest in me he used to run a garage in his sleep and he used to have two matatus so he loved me so he said well young man so he would just come pass by he just loved me now this guy eventually did a crusade for me somewhere one day i was still a, a freelance evangelist so he did a crusade somewhere in that crusade i was busy preaching all kinds of girls attended the crusade. I was a single young man. Mama kapitia kuambali, akaona yo crusade akaenda. Now, through that man after the crusade, another pastor spotted me in the crusade, invited me to have a conference in his church. It was in that conference while I was preaching that mama walked in while I'm ministering to people, sat at the back. When she walked in, I said, ah, but she sat and left. I didn't talk to her. So I don't know how to ask the ushers. There is a lady who came in and sat at the back and left. Because the ushers were all facing this way. Now it was from that conference. Another man of God invited me for another conference. Like two or three months later. A month or so. Something like that. Now in that conference. I want you to see connection. In that conference, I was about to preach. I was wearing white West African wear. Si kwanza kuziva leo. Hata kama haiku shonwa vizuri, bado nilikuwa na ziva. Agbada. So if you thought Olo began these things the other day, no, ilianza kitambo sana. So I'm seated there in my white West African. Agbada ime shonwa uruma hapo karibu na muto. Fundi mwenye na ishona pia ni mimi ndi unamuongoza vila na shonwa. So you can imagine vile likuwe meshonwa. Embroidery liwe kwa hapo ni kama cobwebs. So I'm seated there. I'm about to preach. I'm in the spirit. 
fasting and praying. Then mama was in the kitchen attending to some, it was a conference. Then someone told her, something is wrong with worship team. Please can you go and do a song before the man of God comes to preach? And she came to do the song. I looked at her. I said, he will. <laughs> Before I preached, I said, the sister in the red jacket, after the service, I want to talk to you. I have a word from God. <laughs> now listen and listen very well. The power of men becoming linked to you, that this great worship you have listened to here will not be possible without that old man. Oh! Zionganga, rest in peace. Ulibeba garama ya injili. Haunge kwa hapa. Kama si huyo mzee. Halipa garama kaleta crusade. Hiyo crusade mzima ni mtu moja likuwa nataftua. Ni huyo wako hapa. Siku hile. Thank God before he passed on. I, 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 I blessed that old man's life. The old man loved me in a way. In a way, his own children, I would say this publicly, said, dad loves us, but we can't understand why someone can love somebody's child like this. Before he died, I'd gone to bless him. I don't know how many people would remember that. He came and my Toyota Paso was new. I just bought a brand new Toyota Paso. I said, Mze, I want you to drive my Toyota Paso, leave me your car, and go with it home. I don't know why I was doing that. He went home with it. He, took, he arrived and said, oh, look at Paso. What a car. Said my son, oh, I don't know. He was happy that day. I came, I, I carried almost the whole supermarket. You know me. I went there. Then, he looked at me. He said, come, let me tell you something. He went with me to his bedroom. He said, one day when I'm not there, this and this and this. Please, my son. And the Holy Spirit told me he'll not live for long. To me, that's the day the man gave me his blessing. All through my... It doesn't mean we never had issues. We had issues. It, never, it doesn't mean we never quarreled. We quarreled. It, it doesn't mean we never disagreed. We disagreed several times. But wisdom demands what are your roots. If not for the mze, there will be no meeting of pastors. If not for the mze, I would never have met that man of God. If not for the mze, I would have never gone for that crusade. If not for the mze, I would have never seen my wife. That is the pure truth. We never like to say these things because of our pride. So that people can know I'm self-made. Who made you? How are you on Facebook? Who are you on Facebook? Simu Lutz. Bia mweza kwa simu Lutz wewe. Simu Lutz. They are men. You come under their shadow and men see you. If you turn against them, your journey is a long one. You see all my books. Mama, see all my books. The man I work with to design them. And his wife were invited to this church when we were beginning by your sister, your blood sister. We are still going back to that man. My media ministry of 140 books. I'm not lying. Pastor, where are you? Where are you? Who invited you to church? Mama or sister, eh? So if I didn't marry mama, you know be hiding there. So the day this woman becomes your enemy, you are killing your roots. Just imagine. To say how mal na kumukanga pastor lipo kuje koti aliva unge dania ni kuku megongo na rungu bam. Flyer kwanza tulifanya na pasta. 
Ungedhania tumechomeka. Akazileta. He came with his wife. I still remember the kitenge, the wife, a white kitenge, something like that. Haki walikuwa na kavi baya. Walikuwa mechapa. Maisha ilikuwa mewachapa. Safari ni metembea na pasa na mke waki. Saa zingine mugu imefura ina, imevimba, imezinda stool. Nimeenda hapo kuombea mugu. Several times I've told the devil you cannot take him. You remember? It goes back to this ma, to this mama. And beyond the mama, it goes back to the man who shouldered the crusade. I want you to be wise. Be wise. Usiruhusu asira ikufanya unyambe ovyo ovyo kila mahali. Saa zingine asira ikikunyonga toka Facebook. Because Facebook can anger you more than anything else. It is a place for unhappy people who are displaying their unhappy lives. That's why truly rich men are not on Facebook. Mike Zuckerberg don't know what go, what's going on there. So you thought you were talking to him, you are insulting him. He doesn't know what is going on there. He's busy developing softwares. Real great men don't compete people. They compete their yesterday's success. They don't even know the comments going on there. Your comments have given him a mansion. His ideas have made him be where he is. Be wise. Umetoka wapi. Angalia safari yako leo. Because umbali unaenda. Depends on how you walk. <laughs> eh! Look at this. Genesis 39, if you look at verse number 3, if not for God, how can a man that doesn't know God like Potiphar be able to tell that God is with Joseph? If it is not God that opened his eyes and showed him. To me, Potiphar was not just an ordinary man. He was a very important person. He's the man who saw that the Lord was with Joseph. No matter how much God is with you, somebody needs to see it. Someone needs to see it. If a man didn't see David in that backside of the wilderness, and God intended him to be a king, but a man had to come in. Look at this. And his master saw that the Lord was with him. And that the Lord made all that he did prosper in his hand. And if his master didn't see that, his master could have never promoted him. And if his master didn't promote him, Potiphar's wife would have never admired him. And if Potiphar's wife didn't admire him, he could have never gone to jail. And if he didn't go to jail, he could have never met the baker and the butler. He, if he didn't meet the baker and the butler, he could have not met Pharaoh. If he didn't meet Pharaoh, his prophecy could have not come to pass. Potiphar. Sometimes you may not like the names of people who have helped you, but just like them. Potifera. Don't let little success turn you into an idiot. Just watch your roots. There are people, if they didn't come in your life, you'd have not met a good wife. You'd have not met a good husband. Mungu akisha kupatia, usione tu mungu. Ona hawa watu. Because you will never deceive God, you are grateful to God. If you are hurting and attacking those people. Everybody has their story. How did you get here? It's not because you like. How many times have you felt like leaving this church? But somehow, unaji control tu kwa kiti na unaka. Mudumu refu kama obobo, but you still come back again. Say Sunday, but on Hinder too. Siku wada ntapiga uyu pastor slap, lakini bada hapo tena unaseka, leo ni mempenda mpaka ni kaona ni mbariki. Because it is not in you. God brought you here. God is orchestrating your life. God has your life worked out. From the day you were in the slave market, God planned who was going to put you in the kitchen. God planned who was going to accuse you. God planned who was going to jail you. God planned how he was going to come for you in the jail. So all those places, respect them. Potifera. Potifa. 
Saa zingine si unajikutanga unapotea mpaka unapoteza hamu ya Kings Gathering Church mpaka unapotea mpaka unaomba ukitoa ile kila kitu nilifundishwa backfire back one morning unamka ukisikia tu my father and my mother apostle Maurice Olo because you can't deal with God <laughs> somebody say yeah 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 ya. hiyo nimepata i'm about to close Ephesians chapter 6 verse 58 let me decode the mystery behind Potiphar it's not just a human being who is your Potiphar vilele vilele tritiwa kwa hiyo kanisa haki hiyo kanisa ni shetani na ulipata bibi yako hapo bibi yako ni shetani hadi hiyo job nikifikiria na fikiri yangu nitachimba hiyo job ishe na ulikutana na boyfriend hapo akakuoa you are boy, you are killing your boyfriend the altar where your baby was dedicated the altar where you are married the altar where you presented your head several times and you even fell down the altar where you one day stood and gave a testimony and said the grace on my father hey kanisa lisaidieni kulia na kanisa ikakusaidia kulia Abiro mos kipole Nataka yeye sandani kudunga kipole Ingie kipole kitaratibu You will be a wise child Oh you are a wise child You are a wise woman You are a wise man It shall be well with you Hallelujah Ujafanya vizuri vile nimefanya It shall be well with you because of this wisdom that's why i've resolved as a pastor not to attack my children no look at this are you in Ephesians? chapter 6 and verse number 58 i want you to see a few things about potiphar glory to god I have a few minutes to close look at this Look at this. <laughs> Bond servants, be obedient to those who are your masters, not in heaven according to the flesh, your boss. Obey your boss. Haimaanishi akisema toa nguo utoe. Hapana. Obey your boss. With fear and trembling. There's a way you handle a man who pays you. There's a way Oh, you are welcome sir you are welcome sir it is biblical you can't be working in a man's company you say nobody can move me this is my skills that brought me here yeye ni nani ni mwanaume kama mimi bila mimi hii stima haingefixiwa the bible says with fear don't dishonor your boss with fear lazima kwenda kutetemeka kidogo si ile ya bwana yesu die je medari wa gu setani akiniona hana sio hiyo hana tetemeka sio hiyo kuna ile kutetemeka ya kiungu oh, 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 oh. my boss is here he is here hey, hey. sir you are welcome sir you are welcome sir we, we, we celebrate you sir with fear the day you lose fear fear something wrong has happened in sincerity of the heart don't pretend be sincere sir this idea you are trying to raise it may cost us a problem you don't wait for him to make the mistake so that you capitalize on the mistake and overthrow him in sincerity of the heart you know why because when you look at your boss look at christ god is weighing your walk with him by how you treat your boss Everything you are doing there is part of your spirituality. Don't impregnate your boss's daughter without his permission. Utakuwa miharibu huduma. Kazi yako ni huduma. Mahala pa kazi ni mahala pa huduma. Heaven is watching you. 
how you are handling your bosses. You are an assistant pastor, an associate pastor. Heaven is watching you and taking records. Will you work with office flani? Ufanya kazi yapo. Heaven is watching you. Don't do it as unto a man. Do it as unto Christ. Look at this. Verse number six. Not with eye service as men please us, but as born servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. It is God's will. Part of God's will for Joseph is what he's going to do in Potiphar's house. It is the will of God. It is God's will. So Mungu na muangalia. And Joseph was a wise man. When Potiphar's wife wanted to sleep with him, he said, how can I do this great wickedness and sin against, I know God is watching this thing. God is watching how I'm handling my boss. God is watching how I'm handling this guy. No matter how angry you get in a place of work, don't burn one computer then disappear. You have burned a building block of your destiny. You know you are the one that has the secret to how systems run. Now you are angry. You say this company is going to suffer for 21 days. Then you disappear. There are 21 years of your life you will pay. Unapo toka mahala pa kazi, toka vizuri. May your boss remember you. I say, Jane, how are you and the children? Nimekuwekea kitu kwa account. Usikate wa yambili za gita. Wari tiido. Umeokoka na weni mganga. Kwa nyumba ya baba, unakata wa yambili za gita unaenda na ayo. Unasema by Sunday, dada tajua ni mene. Unaweka pilipili kwa microphone. So pastor kisa buwana ase. Buwana ase. Ulikasirika. Ukanza kwa mganga. Umezimia familia maji kwa main switch. No kind of... What it is do? It's a joke. Where? You are doing money in any kind of joke. No wonder God never blessed you. No wonder for the time you have been in that company, the company has not been moving. You are a wizard. You are a witch. Kuna kataka waya moja. Nusemu wa tanitafana. But listen, you never manufactured the computer. There are men who know it better than you. Look at this. Not with eye service, as men please us, but as born servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart. Look at this. With good will, doing service as to the Lord. And not to men. Look at verse 8. Knowing this, that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. Give me good news translation. Just The thing I fear is, mama, is that behind all these guys, there is the God element. There is the God factor. Ukiachana na muke wako, wacha kumtukana kila mahali. Hatu huya ilikuwa rasinyor. Huya ilikuwa unyore that one. Na uliishi na ye 20 years. Ukapata watoto. I said last Sunday and I'll repeat. When you disagree with a man, don't. Diache ya ya ya. Hayo ni ya mungu ni mengi. Mulikuwa munafanya vitu zenu kwa ziri. Wacha kuzileta Facebook. Look at this. Slaves, obey your human... Now, can we do the message translation? I have a few minutes to go. What one was a man going on? That's why, you see, that's why some of us are the way we are. Because what is fighting you 
It is God that you are hurting. Anytime you try to get back at Potiphar, you are hurting God. Because it is God behind it. It was the hand of God on the man that made the man buy you. Respect that. Potiphar is an instrument of God. That's why he was able to see that the Lord was with Joseph. If he didn't see the fact that the Lord was with Joseph, as I said before, he could have never promoted him. If he didn't promote him, the wife could have not eyed him. If the wife actually, Potiphar gives you an opportunity to be tempted into greatness. Pengine ni epeke alikuwa na wiu bibi manga. Na kwa plani ya mungu kwa jili ya Joseph, lazima manga fulani ya kwe hapo. Ndiya ingie jela. Usipika na manga ambao mungu alitumia. Kukufikisha mahali huko. Hati huyo mama, nikiwa kwa nyumba yake, nikifikiri yanga, na heza endesha hii BMW, nikanyake hiyo kichwa yake kabisa. Vila hali nifanya. Unatuka na mungu. Maintain. It's not easy to be more solo. Just be yourself. It comes with a price. Because when you know all this, you are in trouble. Look at this. Servants, respectfully obey your earthly masters. Biblia inafunua vizuri, ndi usianze kujifanyafanya hapa na spirituality. I respect God. I fear no man. Look at your head. Servants, respectfully obey your earthly masters, but always, but, but, but always with an eye to obeying the real master, Christ. Don't just do what you have to do to get by, but work heartily as Christ's servants, doing what God wants you to do. Seven, and work with a smile on your face. Sio kununa kila wakati kama mganga. He do the do da. Look at this. And work with your smile on your face. Always keeping in mind that no matter who happens to be giving the orders, you are really serving God. So zikwilo naanza kurukaruka kama ndama. Ukisema sasa ndiyo unaenda kutafuta mungu. And you are turning against your master. Anybody that has ever paid you is not someone to insult. Is a dangerous person. There's a bit about your life they have. Life can become too little for you because of your former boss. In case you don't know. And he may never show you, but you can suffer in this life because of one place you worked in and you walked out the wrong way. Bosses talk. Sinimalise sasa. Good work will get you good pay from the master, regardless of whether you are a slave or free. So there is a payday. Ukifanya maovu, utalipua. Ulekata waya moja ya kompito katoka, siku moja utapoteza mbavu moja. Utalipua. Ulifunga sosi ya maji, ukaweka pilipili hapo. Siku moja, you'll fall in love with the wrong woman, na takwekea pilipili kwa maju. Alafu tasema, shetani ya shidwe, shetani. Si shetani, unalipua na mungu. Uovu uliofanya. I've never destroyed any church in my life. Because I understand this. The thing that makes you want to destroy where you are coming from. Can't you tell you are not alone? But anyway, I understand you. Anger dwells in the bosom of a foolish person. You are stupid. And anger... Anger is a reckless driver. Anger does not drive you for long. Anger drives you to the wrong road and destroys you before your time. Nita kasirika. Nita kasirika. Musi ni cheze. Haki nike kasirika. Haki nike kasirika. Wacha yom chezo. Don't destroy your life. A few things. You are called to obey these masters. Fear and tremble before them. Your heart sincerity is demanded. Do this as to Christ when dealing with them. See God. Handle them well even in their absence. Why? Know that you are dealing with God and not men. You are dealing with the real master. Handle them well. God will ensure good in your life. And if you do wickedly against them, God will handle you. I pray as I close. 
Let's look at where we come from with the eyes of eternity. Let's look at every man that has ever blessed our lives with the eyes of God. No matter how angry you are against them, but, but look at them, see God behind it. If you can see God behind it, you will restrain what you do. If you can see God behind it, you will behave smart. If you can see God behind it, you will stop some of the things you are about to say. If you can see God behind it, you will stop some of the words you should have not used. Maneno ikisha enda, uwezi ukarekebisha. You can stop before you say. But after you tell your wife something, you can buy her bananas. You can buy her what? You can take her for a holiday. Lakini kwa ndege, anafikiria kile ulisema. Some words are never, are better not said. When you get angry, ona mungu apondani. Let God keep your eye on him. Kuna isi utafanya kitu, but focus on God. Ni mungu alirusu huyu mjanja kuje kwa maisha angu. Ni mungu alirusu huyu mtu aniumize. It is God that allowed Potiphar by him. It is God that used Potiphar. Potiphar was a servant of God. And even when David, when Joseph became great, we never see any day he confronted Potiphar. He went back to jail him and arrest him. Joseph never paid back Potiphar's wife for what Potiphar's wife did. Because Joseph had his eyes on God that I want you to see what he even told his brothers. He told his brothers, you meant it for evil. But God that was his safety. Put it there. I, I give it to you, put it there. <laughs> Have you ever seen an old man running? <laughs> Genesis chapter 50 verse 20. See God! When you are former pastor, you know sometimes, Shetani and Isaac, you are former pastor. Nilikuambia Shetani and Isaac to mia mama yako, akutafute kwa ringu mpigani. Unetu mama yako ametoka kwa nyumba na gloves. Your mother. Then the dove anoints you and you tell your mother, you'll know I know boxing better than you come here. How azazi? Sazgini shetani huapanda. Even your former pastors. There are times when I say, Hapa ni mimi ndiyo napigwa. But now you know what I've taught you. Usiruhusu shetani atumia ata kiongozi wako. Aku provoke. Your boss can do something. Say, ah, si nimejua girlfriend wake. Wacha nianze zangu. Say, anajaribu kunyamba. Nita nyamba yangu. Najua, unakimbio unaenda kwa nyumba, unambia muke wake about his girlfriend. Then the wife anamudunga na kiswa nakufa. Investigation naanza. And it points to you. And you know big men, they'll slip off the case. You'll go to jail. Kitu mime nilifunga mdomo ni mtu na bibi yake. Hata nikiona bibi yako ana hey, karibu nisemeke kitu kubwa lakini niachani acha. <laughs> bibi ya wenyewe achana na wao. Wacha kwa ya. <laughs> Usipeleke mdomo mahali haitajiki. Wawili wanaojifunika blanket moja. You know nowadays women have mastered an indirect way of exposing husbands who cheat. Akikuona na dada mwingine ambayo si mke wako, anapigia mke wako, hey, Antonina. <laughs> Muna pita tuna mzee hivo na hata mwezi ingia. Alafu Antonina anasema, wapi, na mimi niko, 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 niko mashambani. Antonina. Muna kisia na tuna buwana yako hivo, hata umesa, hata uwezi ingia kwangu. Ah, uh, wewe unapenanga jokes. Mimi niko village. Antonina. Sigari yenu ndio KCZ. Yes. <clears throat> Antonina, si umevaka jeans ya white. I'm in the village in my dark attire. Okay, no problem. Come on. We will visit the story. Tell me what you are saying. I was telling you indirectly that your husband is cheating. Then you break a marriage. What does it pay you? Mimi ni meamua, ukitaka kufanya dhambi, ni kikuona, hendelea. Hata bibilia nasema, wale wanafanya dhambi, wendelea kufanya? Dhambi. Na mungu wezi sema hiyo kama jaka mtego. Na mwenye mna jitakasa, hendelea ni na utaka? Na utakasu. A man and his wife wanaweza kukuruka. 
ulipeleka hiyo information na ni kweli and then the man and the wife vile wana watakuruka live life watakuruka na ubaki kwa ngori zangu na huyu mama achana na sisi tumalizana na vitu zetu wewe kwa tumshirika kwako ifikie hapa ka uko leo mbona nikana mama hako ana smile wewe unataka kusimalia ni bibi yako wewe we. foundation lens my friend you see even you have to go through steps here you have to climb up here stay on your lens 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 my friend lens usikuwe mtoto ambaye unasema kwanza unaishi na baba yako na mama yako kwa nyumba alafu unasema sahi ni kama wiki mbili sijasikia dadi na mamio akiongea usiku na unaongeanga usiku unaelekea wapi wewe kama mtoto tafuta kwako shukulikia za kwako za kwako twaelewa bana wewe shida yako wapi shukulikia za kwako wewe wacha kulala unategatega masikio kama paka usiku lala furahia usingizi za kwa wenyewe waachie wao wao pigia bwana Yesu makofi mazuri Tuangia bwana Yesu makofi mazuri nimekataa kwa mpumbavu nimekataa kwa mjinga nimekataa kwa shirika ovyo ovyo mimi nitafurahia maisha yangu na mimi nitaishi vile Mungu anataka niishi. Maisha haya sio marefu sana. Nimeamua kufurahia maisha yangu. Wacha kubeba beba watu kila mahali. Wajipa ugonjwa wa moyo kabla siku zako dada. Tuliaza kwako wewe. Let's celebrate Jesus for the word we are blessed this morning. We are favored, we are honored. Jesus is wonderful. Jesus is Lord. You can do better than that as you stand up on your feet. Celebrate Jesus wherever you are for he is good all the time. For those watching online, we believe you've been blessed. You aren't you were not there when the service began. You didn't give your offerings. We want to give our prophetic offerings. We want to give our offerings and tithes for those who've come in late as we get to release the first service and make a transition to the second service so i will do this for those online if you wish to give your offerings use the number online and the lord favor you i want to pray for you as you give father we thank you for our online audience we pray that lord as they've been part of this service let the blessings flow into their houses let the blessings flow into their workplaces and lord in their marriages their families let them experience the move of god and above all let the name of the lord be glorified in their houses forever in jesus mighty name we pray for you you're blessed see you in the next session by the grace of god let's put our hands together and release our online service to the glory and honor of his name